This is your rain barrel here. It comes with both water spigots that are already taped. You just got to make sure that you screw it in uh, evenly. It comes with the strainer and with this section of uh, downspout. You want to make sure you put it on a uh, solid foundation. You don't want to put it right on the ground because this weighs about 400 pounds and it will uh, sink and probably lean. Uh, the higher you have it off the ground, the better your gravity flow is going to be. To set it up, I put it where you're going to put it at. Take this piece of downspout and hold it to your existing downspout. So you can see where to cut it. Cut it with a hacksaw. When you get it, set it on. Save your old piece of downspout for the winter time so it'll keep the water away from your foundation. Also, for your overflow, you'd like to have a short section of hose to get it away from your foundation. I would take it down in the winter time and store it, or I turn it upside down uh, so that it doesn't accumulate water and freeze and rupture the uh, barrel. Uh, you attach whatever kind of hose you want to it, soaker hose or a regular hose. If you got a garden out away 25, 30 feet from the building, put a regular hose on it and then connect your soaker hose to that. And that's pretty much it.